And if you like an old-time football feel, this is the place for you. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And what better way to ring in the new year than with live football? It's Crystal Palace up against West Ham United. Well, let's just hope the players weren't at the same Hogney party as you, Derek. Otherwise, we could be in for a really lacklustre performance. But this actually has the makings of being a really good encounter. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And they kick off here. An effective ball. And they need to get tighter here. And the corner has been given. Taken short. Growing pressure here and another corner. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Can he finish here? Uyate. A very effective challenge put in. Well, whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfried Zaha, quite simply, you've got to be on your toes. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace. And he's got plenty of pace to run in behind. And he does it cleverly. He comes short, then spins in behind. And then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper. And he usually finishes it off. Antonio. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Gallagher. And Christian Benteke. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Clearing their lines. And so it will be a corner now. Can someone get on the end of this? And he clears the danger. Are you? MacArthur. And he knows he must thump it away. Corner kick forthcoming. Delivering it. Cutting the ball back.
He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Shielding the ball superbly. Ben Rama. Oh, a nice looking pass. To take the lead. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. get the ball moving again can Palace come up with an answer here Mitchell Wilfred Zaha Mitchell Kuyate Anderson MacArthur now losing possession a bit easily Really effective shielding under pressure. It might be. And it's there for him. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. to go short Antonio really good block Pablo Fornals well it didn't happen for them in attack an example of how to press James MacArthur Now Christian Benteke, and the attack looks promising, nicely cut out. Well it's been quite clear that West Ham have been second best in terms of possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking, it's been a really good performance from them so far. Suchek. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. They know they need to stop him. Not problematic for the keeper. Antonio. Pablo Fornals with it. Antonio. Poor pass under no real pressure. Wilfred Zaha. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. Corner kick played in. Can he finish here? A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead.
So back in business, West Ham with the lead here, but this game far from being done and dusted. Paul Niles. Aaron Cresswell. Said Benrama. Suchek. In possession, Bowen. Antonio. That's a very impressive piece of defending. The ball back with West Ham now. Arthur now. At times they make passing look easy. Teammate and support. Are you? The defender doing his job. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Craig Dawson. Said Ben Rama. Encouraging move from West Ham. Oh, could it be Antonio? Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. And the keeper will happily collect that one. Wilfred Zaha. MacArthur. It's still alive. And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot in that. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. To be replaced by number 22 on Sam Edward. Cross is very much on. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kept the outcome. Palace are certainly controlling the possession as you can see but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far there's been too many safe passes and no real penetration they certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one I well, couldn't quite find his teammate Odson Edouard and options in the centre well time just challenged magnificently And into the last 20 minutes. And space to attack. But they took care of the situation defensively. MacArthur. Mitchell. James MacArthur. Well, high marks for that pass. And that was a very fine read. Anderson. The ball with Jordan, are you? Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. And Palace with possession again here. 
running with the ball confidently and a textbook interception Gallagher well just listen to the atmosphere in here the fans do it every bit to try and spur their team on for this equaliser getting it forward but they need an equaliser Vlasic Pablo Fornals with it Pablo Fornals and credit is due for that good piece of defending Hudson Eduard Zaha has it. Cuts it back. This could square the game. He's foiled them on his own. And the referee blows for full time. It has gone awry for Crystal Palace and their supporters. No points for them. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Already no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.